Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall look at vector triple products. We will look at some properties related to these triple products, and then we will use these products, product, uh, use these properties to solve some example problems. So let us get started. In here, um, if a, b, and c are vectors, if a, b and C are vectors, then the following properties are true. Then the following properties are true. One, vector A dot vector B, and if we were to find the dot product of A and B, and then distribute it to vector C, that is not the same as saying vector a times vector b dot vector c. So that is not the same as saying uh, a vector a times vector b dot vector c. So the second property is telling us that if we have vector a and then if that is multiplied with the dot product to vector b times vector c with a cross product b cross c that is the same as saying vector b dot vector c cross vector a and that that is the same as saying vector c dot vector a cross vector b we will prove each one of these properties in a, in this um, playlist. So we will look at each one of these properties and uh, take a simple example and then prove that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Also, um, we can prove that this left hand side, this left hand side of the expression can be also written as follows. If I wait to come back and then write this vector a the dot product of vector b cross vector c I can write this as uh, in terms of a matrix so if vector a has um, components within them vector b has components within them and vector c has components within them and if the magnitudes of those vectors are a1, A2, A3, and then for B, for vector B, if B1, B2, and B3 are the components, and for vector C, if C1, C2, and C3 are the components, if we were to take the determinant of, of uh, this matrix, then we should be able to find the, the dot product between um, a vector a times the product of vector b times vector c so that that's the way we can write it out we will also um, prove this um, prove this property in my coming up video then the third property we want to know about this triple product is if we take vector a and cross it with uh, the product of vectors b cross vector c and that is not the same as saying vector a cross vector b and if we take the product of that and then cross that with vector c and the pr fourth property here is if we have vector a and if we were to cross it by vector b cross vector c that is the same as saying vector a dot vector c times vector b minus vector a dot vector b times vector c okay so these are all the 
different properties of triple products and we will look at examples of each one of them as we uh, advance into this playlist. So the next property we want to know is this. If we have vector A cross vector B and if we wait to take the product of that and then cross multiply cross cross it with uh, vector C that is the same as saying vector A dot vector C times vector B like that minus vector B dot vector C and we take the product of that and then uh, distribute it to vector A like that okay and the next property is if we have vector A and then if we wait to cross it with vector B and if we wait to take the product of that and then dot product that with vector C cross vector D that is the same as saying vector A dot vector C times vector B dot vector D minus vector A dot vector D times vector B dot vector C. All of these properties are true and we will take each one of the these properties and then explain them with a simple example. The next property we want to know is if we have vector A and then if we were to cross that by the product of vector B cross vector C plus if we take vector B and then cross that by vector C cross vector A and then if we add that to vector C cross vector A cross vector B and when we add up all of these that should that should uh, equal to zero we will also prove that so these are some of the properties related to vector triple products and we will take each one of these properties and then try to explain them with a simple example in my next presentation we should look at um, example problems related to these vector triple product pro properties